Well, good morning there, folks. Here we are again today on a hike in, well, actually, no, it's quite an overcast day today, uh, here in Bangkok, or in the outskirts of Bangkok. I'm actually going into Bangsu today to get my 5G booster shot. Um, so, uh, a bit of an adventure for me, uh, and nobody, nobody hanging around. This is me alone. I want to do some shopping as well. I've got to go in the MBK, so stick around and we'll, we'll take you guys with us. The first leg of the journey today was uh, the, getting a taxi, the grab taxi from my place out to Lac Song. Uh, let's just now finish the second leg of the journey, the MRT, uh, out to the Bangsu, and we're just wandering up now to the uh, Bangsu Grand, Grand Station, I believe. Okay, so we're now up at the ground level again, uh, trying to find out where it is. Of course, I see this picture that seems to indicate COVID-19 or the, the 5G shot down this way somewhere. But uh, that's about as far as I can work it out so far. I really have no idea which end of the platform I've uh, uh, actually sort of exited from, whether I'm going to get out of compass and sort of check it out, I guess. There certainly is a lack of information about where you've got to go, of course, but another sign here, I've done a couple hundred yards to the station without any signage. There's another one there. I can see some white chairs, and obviously all this stuff here barricaded off, which seems familiar. So let's hopefully we're going the right way. The, the IDs thing said uh, entrance one, two, and three, but I've got no idea what those numbers represent. Oh, okay. And gate one. This looks all right. I think we're good. Everybody's dropping in here and dropping in here. Okay. Well, that was rather uneventful. Um, I tell you what, it's been a far cry from the first and second shot. First, uh, first 5G update I got was like, you know, was it September last year. And it was complete, no, August last year, complete bedlam. Uh, we did the, you know, the second update of the 5G and all more of those nanoparticles put in there. Um, that seemed to improve the signal a little bit. I was hoping for a superpower, but that didn't come. I think it's only a very few people get the superpowers, like Peter Parker and things like that. Um, but uh, outside that, uh, this one here, third time around, very, very well organized. Um, like, apart from the 30 minute wait that they'd like you to do, um, well, I think it was 10 minutes enough from walking through that door <laughs> to the waiting queue. Uh, very, very impressed on that. Uh, yeah, sometimes Thailand can amaze you. Anyway, we're now looking for the entrance back into the uh, MRT. Uh, the airport there, nice big rail link. Uh, what have we got going on around here? Um, there's a commuter train, I think, down this way. Commuter train, Bang Surang, uh, train, no, not commuter train. And we'll go, a oh, blue line. <laughs> okay, come on, car. <laughs> I was going to go to the uh, sort of MBK centre, uh, but that's actually on the um, BTS line. So, uh, first place I'm going to stop at today is the um, uh, Ramagal, which is uh, this the another computer superstore mega centre there. So, uh, not that we're buying computers, but uh, they'll definitely have a lot of, uh, of those Bluetooth accessory things. Uh, here's a quick picture of you know the sort of thing I'm looking for. Um, Hopefully I'll get it, uh, or get something there, otherwise I can get it on Lazada since that's where I found it. It still amazes me the, the antiquity you see of these uh, interstate or inter-province trains. God, I've sort of seen trains like that since the 60s or, or 70s, but uh, uh, I guess that's the difference between Thailand and Australia. Well, there we go, that's the MRT out of the way. Uh, we're going into Fortune Town, this is where the computer stuff and all the phone stuff is. We've also got the Central Plaza across the road here as well. Um, that may be an option to go on there if I don't find anything in here. But, uh, yeah, so let's go and check it out. I was just checking my phone, I can't see the 5G signal on my phone yet. Uh, I'm wondering if I've gone past or gone and walked through some sort of uh, EMP field because um, you know, I know EMP fields can sort of shut those things down. Uh, the, the poor little nanites, they, they can't work through EMP, but uh, uh, we'll have to see how we go, but uh, um, I'm not too worried. 
if, if, the, if the 5G doesn't work, maybe I get a superpower. I don't know. I'm looking for a spider, spider sense or something coming in. I don't know. It's one of those things. It's weird. It has. I just said I've been here once before and uh, lots of camera stores. Uh, but what we're looking for is all the mobile phone accessories and bits and pieces like that. Oi, cup and cup. This place, you know, in the interverse, you know, like has been talked about as being, you know, the, the new version of the Ponte Plaza. You know, Ponte Plaza is a place that I've been to you know, when, I, when we had the office here and that was where you got all your computer gear. Um, I thought Ponte Plaza was a little bit more organised, it had multiple floors and you could pretty much navigate it. I mean, this one here looks like it's a single line of shops on uh, level, I think we call this level one and level two, but uh, hey, we'll see how we go. Well, we struck out on level one, but there's uh, more on level two here. Uh, I don't think it goes any higher. Well, I think this business is upstairs, but anyway, we'll keep on looking. Now, this one here is a little bit more, I suppose, IT-ified. Is that, is that even a word? Uh, a little bit more, a few more nooks and crannies around the place. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So a little bit of searching, here we are, and we're testing the thing out there. There's Todd, he's at home. <laughs> uh, this is a deep, say something so they can hear you. Hello. Hello, there we go. Sorry, Carl. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've found the perfect device for our little Friday meetups at, uh, at Susie's place. So, uh, that was a short trip out to the city today, but I'm going to have to look around and do some more shopping. But we'll, we'll get, get, get this one and we'll move on. <laughs> well, that was a definite winner. I don't get to go to MBK, of course. Well, maybe we still go to MBK just for the, just the sheer pleasure of, you know, totally freaking ourselves out with the nine levels of shops and everything. Oh, no. Uh, can't be bothered running around. But uh, my shopping exercise is over. You know, I, don't, I really don't know how anybody, any of these businesses really do business and you know, like, you know we're in the middle of the day it is a it's a Wednesday you know like the place is not teeming with people but you know you've got IT shop upon IT shop upon IT shop uh, uh, oh we've got food <laughs> but this is you know, it just surprises me how these places actually do business um, and how they actually sort of stay in business uh, with you know like IT accessories there's the Sony. Was that the Sony camera? I thought this. I was looking for what the Sony camera in at um, in at the Sony shop in uh, in uh, Bankay, but they didn't have one. Big no business solutions. He's a Sony dealer. I don't know if he has this stuff. I'll definitely have a look though. Oh yes, they do have it there. That's a used one there for eighty thousand baht. <laughs> a little bit on the high side. Wasn't quite the. That, that's the model above the one I was looking at. Mind you, I still don't know whether it actually changed from this, you know, the action camera or Sony thing that I've been using for the last three years. It's just so handy, so small, gives you the wide angle lens, uh, does all the, you know, <laughs> it gives you the, the, the whole idea of the wandering around and the, the stuff you see here in Thailand, which is what people come to the channel for. Uh, they just want to sort of see the real Thailand. Not just me, you know, like you get one of those cameras there, you're back into the 35 millimeter, you know, face frame shot, which you know, to me, well, if you want to see my face, go to my Facebook, you know, there, there, there's a face there, you know. You don't have to see me, you just want to see everything around me. But of course, I am narrating, so uh, uh, that's why we continue to, you know, do these videos. Uh, but again, you know, I'm also after you guys to tell me what you want to talk about, you know interaction you know like that's what it's a two-way street um, I'm out and about all the time looking at stuff um, I don't take you everywhere because again I I'm waiting for ideas that you guys are looking to, to see well there is another floor up here of course that's the down escalator we might go upstairs and see what's up further oh, music shop drums drums and guitars. No, I'm trying to avoid those shops because I know I'll probably sort of, I don't have enough time in the day already. I guess we were bound to find an IT city somewhere in the, in the establishment. Um, IT city is where I bought my computer from originally. Um, but uh, now if I was to buy a new one, I'd get a JIB. Uh, IT city have moved away from the custom builds 
more into the sort of you know, fast moving consumer products. Uh, well, I don't think they're all that fast moving, but you know what I mean. It's a Miso coffee here. They do this wonderful, what do you call it? Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, so the, there it is there, the Oregano pork burger. Let's see if they got one. It's that time of the day, I feel a bit on the hungry side. Last time I was here, I didn't realize there was this extra floor above us, I think, because I didn't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I was looking for something specific like I was today, and I think I found it on the second floor. Uh, I didn't uh, didn't even think to go to the third floor, and I wasn't looking for a third floor, but now I can see it's a little bit bigger than what I uh, originally imagined from the last visit I was here. Uh, it's somewhat comparable to what we sort of saw at Pantin Plaza, um, but again, it's that long walk as opposed to, you know, the, the multi-floor walk around and round in circle type of establishment which we had. Mind you, Pantic Plaza is still there, it's no longer doing IT, you know. I imagine Banana IT is more like a franchise name shop because so far in this building I've seen two other Banana ITs plus this one and they seem to really be quite a bit of a hodgepodge sort of setup. Um, uh, I do remember Banana IT from the IT uh, expos that we have here and they've always got the pretty girls in the yellow outfits you know you can search back in the catalogue for that sort of stuff if you want um, but uh, when it comes to IT City or JIB there's usually only sort of one you know, in any of these places and then right now I haven't even come, haven't even come across a, a JIB uh, but I'm sure there's one here somewhere. Cynix was one of the um, distributors we, we dealt with back in the 90s and in, in Australia when I had my computer business running. Uh, they sit a little bit more in your face these days. This one's a Cynix service centre. Not sure how that works for a wholesaler. Maybe they're a little bit more retail around here. I do see the name crop up from time to time when you're out in other places. Uh, so I guess they still are wholesaling, but uh, uh, maybe it's just a sign of the times that it's a bit more uh, brand aware now. Who knows? There you go. That's a, that's a, that's a pork burger and a half. What do you reckon, huh? Looks looks nice and healthy, you know. Anyway, I've had these before, and these are just yummy. Well, the appetite is sufficiently sated. Let's have a quick walk around and see what else I've missed last time I was here. This is of course something that I've got on my list of to dos here: some security camera work. Although we're in an estate and they've got security cameras around this estate, I'd rather have something that was my own. Yeah. <coughs> well, so it's a second IT city over there as well. So. Yeah. Must be a franchise too, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's another banana IT. There's four banana ITs I've seen in here. And no sooner did I say I haven't seen a JIB, there's a JIB. A little bit of a small one. Oh, there you go. There's a bigger JIB. <laughs> JIB, I've got two stores here as well. <clears throat> Gaming chairs. A little bit cheap. Used shop. I'm guessing that's just used odds and ends, but anyway. So we're into the, at the end of the IT section, but it still uh, doesn't make economical sense to be sort of crowded in here in a place like this. <coughs> Surely it'd be better, you know, from a perspective of uh, running a business to set yourself up a place, you know, that has a central locality to, you know, a group of people or a hive of people or, you know, a, a, a tambour or a, an amphor or something like that out of the city and making that you know a central focus point rather than coming into Sarama 9 because like this is an hour and a half away from my place <clears throat> and I don't see any real benefits in the pricing but hey this is what ties do I might have found that little Bluetooth device I was looking for <clears throat> on the second floor uh, but I've still been sort of keeping my eye to see if there's anybody else doing something everywhere I look and then it was the only place I found it so far and they've pretty much done all the third floor now. So I've now sort of seen this name Ace I think three locations looking closer it says powered by IT City so you got IT City and you got Ace seems to be a sort of sub brand inside the IT City sort of banner which is interesting. Come to think of it we don't have the Ace brand in the mall and this is where I had my computer built you know, like I guess You've got all the different cases and everything else where you can do a build your own sort of system and all the obs and ends of parts. So I'm guessing they separated all that sort of gaming and uh, build your own from their mainline business. Uh, that sort of makes sense. 
bit more brand identity. And that's not to sort of say that these small boutique shops aren't worth checking out, but you'd really need to have a better grasp of the Thai language or have a Thai friend that can do the translations for you to see if you can actually make uh, some deals on the, on the ground. Um, because you know what they're like with Fadang, you know, uh, they, just, they just see the ATM sticker on your, on your forehead and they'll try to sort of leverage every cent that they can or every baht that they can, you know what I mean? Okay, just went up one escalator more and it looks like that's a car place, car parking space that they provide in Fortune City here. So I guess you could drive in and get parking here. Don't know what it costs, it's probably fairly inexpensive. But uh, yeah, so that pretty much does the rounds. I've got just one more section to look down here again and uh, we'll see how we go. So just making my way out again, there's another JIB um, store. So it's now I think three we've seen in here. So I think it's up there with Banana and IT City, so... Oh, and it's another IT City. <laughs> oh my God. How many times do you have to see IT City in a, in a, in a single mall? <laughs> and that's another Banana. <laughs> I can't give up. As we like to say, well, this is Thailand. <laughs> this is what you can expect. Oh, that's another Banana IT. Oh, so now five Banana... Oh no, I give up. Uh, or maybe I'm counting that one again or something, I don't know because it's you get a little bit spun around a bit and it's one two th yes that was the first three bananas i saw you one two three four oh, I, give, I give up well it looks like we're back on the ground floor again <coughs> uh, head towards the mrt and our way home i guess well there's the little <coughs> hutches for the stairs going down to the mrt so i'm almost back on the MRT and finishing the video. If you guys have any questions about uh, any of this sort of stuff you see, don't forget to ask them down below. I, I do my best to uh, communicate with the people who watch the videos, uh, not like some of the channels around here uh, doing Thailand. And I've heard that a lot of people sort of shut off that sort of function, feature of YouTube and I'm going, well, what's the point of doing videos if you're not interacting with your audience? Hey, well, that's part of it. Anyway, uh, I'm out of here. Yeah, if you're an IT freak and you on your phones and cameras, uh, I have to recommend you make your way out here. There'll be a map pin below of Bang Su, Bang Su um, you know, station and a map pin for uh, Rama Gao, uh, or Karam Gao, uh, Rama 9 uh, MRT, so you get an idea where things are. Anyway, stick around. Stay subscribed. If not, uh, up to you. Anyway, I'm still waiting for the 5G signal, but uh, maybe you go. Maybe it just didn't work. I don't know. How do you how do you tell this stuff? Let's just hope it's not one of those sort of things where it's genetically programmed to to kill you after for 24 hours or something. I don't know. I saw a movie about that recently. You know, genetic program nanites you know, to rid the population of. 90% uh, of the world or something, something like that, I can't remember. Anyway, um, we'll have to see, won't we? Peace out, guys. <laughs> Catch you next time. I, I want you to lift me up so